I want to make it very clear that the DCI did not sum summon Dr. Stephen Kalonzo Musyok. He requested him together with us to go there so that he can give us his findings. He has made his findings and I will give you the findings. There are three. Number one, that the property subject matter of his investigations is privately owned by Pastev Holdings Limited, which is a company associated with Dr. Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka after the property was purchased by Betraco Limited. Note that this is not a first transaction. Uh, our party leader and his family holding company was the second owner. Number two, the National Youth Service, which is alleged to be an interested party in the said property, has issued an equivocal statement stating that they have no interest, proprietary or otherwise, in the property that was the basis of the allegation made by His Excellency Do uh, Dr. William Samoy Ruto. Lastly, he says that this is the final investigation in this matter. They have closed their file, and therefore the pro above property is legally owned by Dr. Stephen uh, Kalonzo Musioka. Now, the reason we, we want, we are highlighting this issue, and as it innocuous as it may appear, is because from our perspective, as his legal representatives and the party wiper, to associate Dr. Stephen Kalonzo Musioka with illegality, unlawful action, corruption, and stealing of public property is a matter that we have taken so seriously that we have put in so much time and effort and, and, and legal and a big legal team just to get this done. The DCI has found zero evidence of wrongdoing on my part. This reflects my principles and values in life that you do not need to steal to become relevant in society. Indeed, hard work always pays. Fellow Kenyans, at the moment, I'm not in government. I'm working to lead this nation so as to champion your rights and protect your wealth for the future well-being of our country. Kenyans must be wise and seek clarity from vote seekers about real truths. Truths about their positions and their public service track records. We cannot have a man who dips his hand into the cookie jack, uh, into the cookie jar at every single opportunity and at the same time present himself as a messiah. I therefore insist that lifestyle audit must be made compulsory before one is clear to contest for public office in the upcoming general elections. This should be a cross board.